Hi, so we're going to take a look at using the sweep tool in Inventor. So let's go ahead and create a 2D sketch. And just for our purposes here, we're going to create a spline. Now this could be any path, okay? Um, but we're just going to create a nice curved path here. Okay, and if you can imagine, this could be kind of anything on a uh, any model that you're doing. Okay, so there's our path. Right click create. And then we're going to go ahead uh, and finish sketch. So we have our path. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead, notice it's a 2D path, right? We're going to go ahead and create a second sketch. And we're going to do that sketch on the, um, on the, um, just a second here. So uh, let's take a look at where we're creating that sketch. So we have a, the path that we created is on the XZ plane. We're going to create our sketch on the plane that is perpendicular to that, in this case, the XY plane. So let's go ahead and click there. And we need to make sure that our 2D space overlaps. So it has to intersect that uh, the line at some point. Okay, so, so basically, you know, so if we look, our, uh, our path intersects the, the the plane that we're on intersects the path that we already made in three places, here, here, and here. So we can make our shape at any of those places. We're gonna choose kind of the tail end of it here. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and make the rectangle and finish sketch. Okay, so we didn't dimension it. You know, we could have dimensioned it, uh, but just for demonstration purposes, that's it. So we can kind of check here that it's going through. Okay, so we need to make sure that uh, looking from the top is kind of a, the easiest way to do it. So we can see our 2D shape here, and we see that the, our path is going through it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create our sweep. Uh, so click on sweep. Whoop, I just changed the uh, the um, material there just for demonstration purposes here. So let's go ahead and click on sweep. And notice that um, notice that right off the bat, it doesn't uh, it doesn't give us a preview. Okay, and that is because I have set some other uh, some other properties down here. So if I go back and set uh, zero. Okay, uh, on those properties, you'll notice that it changes there. Okay, so, so a good way to know if your sweep is gonna be successful is if you get this preview. Okay, if you set, so there are some things that can go wrong with the sweep, all right? Uh, one, it looks like in Inventor 2021, they've kind of corrected some of these, but some are not corrected, okay? So, so basically, um, in previous versions, if we went in and the sketch was way too big, let's say the sketch, let's say the sketch was quite big. We finish sketch. Okay, notice that in 2021, it does just fine. You know, it kind of handles that sketch um, very well. Uh, in, um, in previous versions, that, that wasn't the case. This would have produced an error. Okay, um, if we take the sweep now, uh, let's say that we try to do a twist of say, let's say we do 10 degrees, okay? Uh, so that worked, let's try 60 degrees. Okay, so notice that I'm twisting uh, the sweep here. Uh, let's try 90. Okay, 90 works. Now this may really work. Oh, even 360 works. Okay, so uh, so it looks like we're uh, it's fine on twisting in this. Okay, there we go. So at 720, it breaks, right? So so if we don't if we don't see a preview here, we know that if we were to click OK, we get this error. Okay, and it'll see edit sweep feature failed. And in general, this is the error. So the error you're going to see is that it it uh, it resulted in self intersection. Okay, and that means that basically the 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 part ran into itself while it was trying to be created. Um, so, so the end result of this is that, you know, there are some limits based upon the shape, um, that you're doing. Okay. So here we are, uh, tapering, you know, tapering at one degree. Notice that it's tapered there. Uh, and then we can add a twisting in, uh, based upon the needs of your design. Okay. And notice that that didn't work out. Okay, so there are limits, and so the placement on the um, the placement of the uh, shape on the path really matters as well. 
Okay, so if this if this uh, space here was oriented on the path differently, it would affect it differently, right? So so say if this if this path, well, sorry, if this space, see how it just catches it on the corner. So really, it's riding on the it's riding on that corner all the way around, right? Um, to create this shape, if that path, if that space was oriented differently on the path, uh, it would affect the creation of the sweep differently. So, okay, uh, so there is our sweep, and best of luck.